Hi and welcome back to another Best of Times Reborn YouTube video. I'm your host Brad. It is currently... Let me have a look. It's currently 4.27pm on Saturday, August the 10th, 2024. Current temperature is 23 degrees Celsius. Feels like 23 and 79% humidity. I'm your host Brad and welcome to Bestest Times Reborn. See how we go, walking from Goodyear Hill to town, using the waterproof camera just in case it starts pouring rain out of the blue, which is likely. Otherwise we'd be using the normal every day camera with the better stability, better everything. Using the same sort of mic so it should be fine. Anyway, we'll continue along, do what we do, try and beat the rain. If we can get a second video done I might switch to the other camera. I've got it with me just in case. The uh, horse races, the banana horse races today at the showgrounds, the race course. I'm gonna chop the stuff on at the um, golf course as well. Even with this weather. <laughs> the ground's starting to dry out though, so I think we'll be fine for a while. Gundy Hill Shops, the barber shop, the Jasmine Thai Massage and Simo's Gundy Hill Hotel. I know we show these things a lot but you know 20 30 40 50 years from now when some of these places may not exist the buildings may not exist I don't know it's good to show just in case station street just never know how things are going to be in life how things will change the way the town will change for the good or the bad just don't know hopefully for the better This gives you a good indication of what it was like. As much detail as I can as I can show. See there's police up in Grace Street there, it looks like Grace Street. The lights. The head I don't know if they show up on video. Hopefully they do. That's the old yeah, the old Kirby's corner there. Where the shops and that used to be. Reese Plumbing. This year I've reported more than once over the time. And they haven't really fixed it, they just put a barricade around it. It must have been pretty bad to, to break one of these big metal plates that go over the top. To be pretty, pretty full on. They're pretty thick steel those. Hmm. They're old though, they're the PMC ones, PMG. Got their PMC, but it's PMG. And there's Goodyear Auto Care, which used to be Goodyear Tire and Auto back in the day. I don't know why they changed the name, but anyway. A bit more generalised name, I guess. Yeah, it's these sort of ones, they break further down. Anyway, here's your public phone, which aren't pay phones anymore. At the time of recording this, they're free phones to use. They're not, they're not pay phones. They're actually free, so pretty used within Australia to Australian numbers and all that. There's um, Cassowary Street. You never know, one day this might sell. I very much doubt it though, due to the fact that it floods here. It floods through the building. But, someone might buy it, knock it down and put something taller in there, something higher. It was the drive through bakery for years. Ugh. Too much rubbish on the ground. The, um, 
the lack of bins doesn't help. There used to be about five or six bins on the way into town from Gundy Hill. Yeah, you had the one at Glendry Hill, at the Kobe's Corner Shops. We had two of them. Yeah, one on Eater Street and one in um, Station Street. So you had two lots. Then you had the... Yeah, one outside the bakery at one stage. Our bakery. And you had one up near... At 180, near the... Where the tobacconist is now. Which was cool, so the mobile server. So having that many was good. There was one up near where Roscoe's was, the second place they were. The green building near where um, Lee X used to be. There was a bin there. There was a public bin where uh, the furniture shop is now. One that's closing down for renovations. I think their last day is tomorrow before they do it, before they close. And then there's another one near KFC. And there's one up near Mr. Yummies, Eagle Boys, all that sort of thing. So I don't know how many that was. You see them over the years when you walk a lot. But yeah, oh, that's where it goes, sadly. That's it. Yeah, so sad to see all those bins go because you know, you've got to walk a fair distance before you can find a bin. Pelican Street. Yeah, the next bin is. Um, so, if I was to finish a drink just near the start of my walk, I would have to go, unless I cross the road or use someone's wheelie bin, I would have to go all the way to the um, bus stop near the um, Bunnings car park, all the way up there to, to find a bin. I think it's ridiculous. So, now I'm not walking extra slow today because I'm trying to get a bit of exercise. Because of all the rain and that, haven't been able to get what I want to get on the walks in for the videos and all that. Yeah, it's been hard. You can often see where the bins used to be. I don't know if they still got the markings there anymore, but they know they used to. Just trying to see the circles where they're covered in the concrete of where the um, bins were. And that, well, they put in other things over the top some of the spots yeah for a long time you can see it so I don't know we'll have a look on the way through but this is where it used to run in front of this place and that sort of over here somewhere along there but they put a new footpath in the sense well and truly long gone there used to be palm trees all the way through here on the way into town that's where some of these circles are from too so, yeah, there was a bin here too. You can see where the marking is for it. Where there used to be a sign and all that too. Yeah, in here, see that square there? And where there used to be a sign. Yeah, it's weird how they got rid of them all. This palm tree here is one of the only ones left. And I think there's... I don't think there's any left, there's like 10 or 20 of them. There's your Repco and where um, you know, it used to be. Kennedy's Better Home and Living. No, better Home and Living before that, and then Brexit Vision before that. So, be nice if they did up this footpath all the way through, instead of being this hodgepodge stuff that can be very um, trepacity. Okay, this is Ibis Street, I-B-I-S. You got super cheap auto over here. It's 
Which I might slow down a little bit so we can see a bit more detail. We're going to walk all the way through Edith Street and up the main street down to the Esplanade direction. That's Repco. Show as much as we can this side of the road. You see little changes. If you watch these enough, you'll see the little changes. I see enough. See all these different changes and that around town. I probably could if you used the other camera. Oh, well, it's done, it's done now. There's Rebel Coffee, Kayla Lawyers, and the taxis. And uh, Commonwealth Hotel. That's our budget backpackers. And so on. White Young Chinese restaurant, which has been for sale for a few years now. Don't know if they've had any nibbles, but it doesn't look like it. So this furniture world's one that's closing down, had a big sale and getting renovated. They must be making enough out of it to have it here long enough and be renovating. Uh, I'll try and get photos inside over the time if we can, just from the looking through through the window and that. I think there's people in there though, there's a four-wheel drive there, so I can't really do anything now. But if they close tomorrow, we'll let a bit. Oh, there he is. I'll make the owner, so I can't. But anyway, I'm oh, Peter. In the ink, studio cafe, tour hub. Never seen anyone into a hub, so I don't know what that's all about. They don't see many at Pets Domain either. When did they open until today? Is that of interest? 5 pm. So another 20 minutes. Very ideal electrical car court and all that used to be. You can see where the old doors used to be. We'll have a look on the way back if the forward drive has gone more. I'll get some photos and put them on the end of the video. This phone and computer solutions, that's been sold. Well, the building has anyway. So I don't know if it'll stay the same thing in there or not. So you sold it, congratulations. Written on the signage over there. It's an old service station, as you can tell. Very obvious what it used to be. This is Charles Street here. Charles. Okay, see? It's a really proper renovation, not just painting over the old old stuff. Because it's getting a bit yeah, a bit janky. And it's got all the rust stains and stuff. Over there needs C L R or liquid magnet. Calcium line and rust. They used to advertise on TV ridiculously. You can still buy CLR, I see that in Wallace and Carl's and that. Yeah, look at the paint. There's your island coast forward. They've been doing up the wall where I see tailors used to be back in the day. Tech tune. I went in there one day looking for something. The guy was quite nice. I actually quite appreciated the way he talked. He was way nicer than expected. I like that. Yeah, they've got markings here. I wonder what that's for. Hopefully they'll finally fix this up. I've been mentioning it to the uh, council through the SnapSense all about for a while. Certainly needs it. It's a trip hazard. And it's not safe for people with mobility scooters and that, crutches and basically any sort of mobility issues, yeah, not the best thing. So that's the old Zipway house to my, to my right, can't really show it though sadly. There's a, there's a ground through this, not pretty full on, back where we just came from, and that like we do. Really like sign you can't really see anymore. Needs fixing up. You can see there's all markings down here. Hopefully they do up this whole footpath. Put this pebble creek stuff. I noticed in the rain it's so much better. With the pebble creek, it's a bit more um, slip resistant. 
Seems to be more hard wearing too. This is Gladys Street, looking down towards Kmart direction. The old turn link direction and that. Reverse and auto parts and Buck Marlin Motel. You can see here where they had to redo this. See the different colouring here. Had Ergon and that they're doing stuff. The time. So this is the bin I was talking about. And you've got to be careful walking along here. There's often people sitting behind the uh, behind the bus stop. Unsavory types, often quite loud. So if you're ever walking along here, yeah, be careful. They're often sitting on that ledge behind. I'll give you a quick peek of where they do it, where they hang out. Sometimes you can't see them until you get right up to it. There's your way to Bunnings through there, Bunnings Warehouse, hardware store. If you're from America, it's like Home Depot, but I've seen a Home Depot on, or Home Depot on uh, videos and that. There's your Chemex. Like I say, it's interesting to show because you just never know when things might happen. Like we never thought, thought Kirby's Corner would be there forever, but no. So, that's where Roscoe's is, for anyone wondering. Is it just me or has this got worse? People have done stuff to it. It's gotten a lot worse. Just, I think it has. People are throwing stuff at the windows. They're smart doing that. Well, they're not. Well, they might be, seem smart to their friends. And that is a Tesla. Hmm. Tesla. to see an electric vehicle around. Always like seeing that. So it's Ernest Street. E-R-N-E-S-T. Ernest. Part of the Bruce Highway. The Eater Street's part of the Bruce Highway as well. So. Hungry Jacks. For the Americans, Burger King. Same company. They couldn't have it as um, Burger King here because somebody else already had the name Burger King down south. The franchise name, the license and all that. Yeah, I read up on it. Uh, you got the tiny little drive through for Hungry Jacks. Where the job agency APM used to be. Right here. Gumloon, Chinese restaurant. Vince Martin and Co. Energy Clinic, where Ray's Barbershop used to be. Yeah, we'll look in there now. All right. Yeah. Wondering whether another business is going in there, or whether it's been done up to make it more viable for a business. That's the question. Day question, you know. It's uh, a workwear place. In as far as work with supplies. Yeah, they have all your sketches, stuff in there as well. Don't really see in there through the windows because of all the reflections and that. Gives you a bit of a look where Mag's Coffee Lounge used to be. Where Mary Maganini had a gift shop for years. And then the then you go back, see that someone's smashed the window. I do not understand why people do that stuff. If you can't handle your alcohol, then uh, stay away from it. If that's what the, the reason is. That's ridiculous. Another one just up here, that's why I went back. All right. Video too. I don't understand it. Why people think they have to do that stuff. Oh, both sides. Yeah, it's on both sides. Whatever it is, had a rampage. The old uh, Venezuela family health. Hopefully, there was. Uh, what do I call it here? CCTV. Wow, that's ridiculous. It's crazy. I don't know why 
of people do this stuff. If the photos turned out, I'll put them on the end of the video. I had to rush through. There was someone coming. Makes it hard. That's the trouble with this section too. You know, with intoxicated people. Hanging around the corner. There's someone swearing around the corner. Ah, gonna cross over, but no, we'll cross over here. This is Allen Street. Just getting some looks of this hill. They will just cut you off. I don't care. Older people. Still, no matter whether they're older people or younger people. I shouldn't know it. Not the first time. It won't be the last time. I'll have another one. Oh, there's clowns. You can tell the a lot of places got done. Yeah, it's hard to tell with the uh, the lighting. <laughs> but yeah, through the camera and the phone and that. I'm getting the photos, you can see where they fixed that up. Rothneys. I thought you crazy, the glass people will do well out of it. Window places and that. They look quite fairly new glass actually. Except for it's got those markings on there. The design on the bottom. Oh, I wonder how many other places got hit, sadly. There's got to be a lot of CTTV around, I think. It's getting to the point now where places need to put CCTV up here, facing towards their businesses, so they can catch people. Like the proper dome cameras where they're harder to break. There's a Malik Center. Yeah. It's pretty sad to see. It annoys me how people don't respect other people's stuff. They just leave it alone. They've got to, they feel they've got to break things and graffiti things and all that. Uh, I don't see anything on the other side of the road. Since I've been walking along up here, so that I can see. Anything broken. Ridiculous that it happens at all. Just came this warehouse where they put the ANZ ATM. Tobacconist, one of six tobacconists we got in town, which we don't need. Yeah. Rumbies. Mm. So, a food emporium, in the arcade. One of the ways to get down to Woolworths and that. Anyway, we'll continue up around. Uh, it saddens me, these people that do this stuff, breaking other people's properties. It's breaking anything at all. They wouldn't like it if someone did that to their property. Yeah. I'll never understand it. Got this one here. This is all new glass. The old hand's head. They've been doing stuff forever. Feels like forever. No one in there, so we can sort of show it. See the old hand's head. Yeah, it's hard to show it properly. I'm tempted to get the other camera out, but you just never know. You never know what the weather, the weather's going to do. Down the side is the Rankin Street side of it. Go down Cutter Court. Have a gander, have a look. Then turn around and come back down. The other side. It's a courthouse. 
sort of amazes me how they built this stuff back in the day with you know, no forklifts and cranes and all this stuff. And not the stuff we have nowadays, the building. Just could do with the whole revamp, doing right up, cleaning and all that. Even when there's events on there, council doesn't really do much to clean it up. Not river fest and all that. There's someone coming behind me, so very quiet for a second. Let them go past. Show across here while we can. The post office for the taken off the, well they've just covered over, rendered over the uh, old old bricks. The old bricks were more like this sort of stuff. That's the back of the police station, the courthouse and that. It used to be the old police station in that spot. Arcadian games and cafe, that's been closed down for a long time. They had arcade games and stuff in there. And then, didn't really do too well and then he changed it just into a normal cafe and it didn't do well. I don't know how well he advertised it. I never knew it was there till I walked past any of it. So, I think people were excited that this opened for a while. I oh, they got curtains in there. They never did before. Red curtains. Wouldn't be surprised if they, someone's living in this. Often how these places end up going. Sadly, oh, I'm not a, I'm not a pub person at all. So we're nearly down at the Fitzgerald Esplanade. See that across there? The old Fitzgerald Esplanade. Okay. Showed that in many, many videos in the past. So we don't need to show that this time around in as much detail. Hasn't really changed. I don't see any changes to it. It's the old Vermont Bank building. In 4KZ upstairs for years now. 4KZ Cool FM radio stations. I have to talk a little bit because they play music there. Out of the speakers up there. Which is no good for copyright. And that. This was a job agency last time I saw it. In use. Here's your tub night safe. But if they ever pull that out, I think they should give it to the museum. Historical Museum, tell them where it come from, and all that, and the history of it. It's Albert's, it's a backpacker slash cafe, restaurant type thing. Quite expensive. Oh, nothing against it, it's, not, it's just not my cup of tea, that's all. Otherwise, you know, a lot of people seem to like it. It's open 7.30am till 2pm, Monday to Friday. Like a lot of places here. These sort of places close early. Innisfail Youth Family Care Inc. Innisfail Youth Recreation Centre. Used to be called The Edge at one stage. The way back. See down the ramp. To it. To give you an idea, it needs a good clean down there. Anyway, so. Art Deco Guided History Walk. I did a video of that from last year. You can see that on, on, the, on my YouTube. Historical Society, which used to be a library way back in the day. When my mother was a child, it was in there upstairs with the library. It's the post office. Uh, yeah, the post office. Yeah. In the back of the old Telstra stuff, telecom. There's another random trolley. Whenever you hear that on a video of mine, that's just um, the distance from when I started my walk from home, not from when I started recording. Oh, I felt a little bit of raindrop then. So better that I keep this camera out. St. Rita's, St. Johnston School Fate, 4 p.m. Saturday the 17th of August, 2024. Straight post. You can see the change down there where they've rendered it. I like the bricks because it really didn't show us much um, mould and that that paint might. Hopefully it's mould proof, which it probably will be. It's silly if you don't 
paint with mild proof paint these days. <laughs> Got the recurse penalty, this is the Rankin Street, the Shire Hall is the Catholic Church and all that. And this way down to Woolworths and McGowan Drive, all that. Ah, oh, there's Agribusiness Services Queensland's up at the top there and Financial Wealth Management. We're crossing over this way where I want to show, so just got to have a bit of respect. Not a lot of people don't, but I do. And I'll show them a little more past first. Back towards Cutter Court, Rankin Street, it's Eater Street. Yeah, this is where Powerhouse Realty. Warehouse property was for a while there. Also was um, Hello World. Choose to be Harbour World Travel, they've moved. This powerhouse property's moved to 42 Meridian Road, East Innisfail, from July 2025. I never actually noticed that over there. Did I, in my East Innisfail videos where I went over Meridian Road Hill when they were doing all their roadworks and fixed, building a new pathway and that I didn't really see. This needs doing up, the National Bank. Customer car park and that, and the premises for lease through there. But look at the driveway there, wow. Black Care Plus, yeah, you can feel more spots of rain. Burn travel, dreams in colour. Can't mention every single business, there might be something I might be able to because might be people standing there or whatever. And that, you want to come in my direction. Right, Brandon and Gullo. The old Debbie's wedding and flower shop, which is gone. Top police. And then the old leading edge that's gone. Sadly. Leonard. All of Aries and Anita's gifts and souvenirs. Wait for this chapter to walk past, I guess. So all done. The old region arcade area. All of areas. The neatest gifts. Yeah, it's hard to show as much detail as I'd like because stand here too long, people give you the filthiest looks. Hair Manor. Remember that was Dick Smith when I first saw it? Dick Smith Electronics. And you got the bin enclosure, which someone's open or left open. Yeah, these Art Deco ones that they made. They look all right, but I uh, didn't see anything wrong with the blue ones. They just needed cleaning up. Pa repainting every now and then. And there's my ladies in store across there, which I forgot to mention before. So I highly recommend. People in there are really nice. Jewel stationery. Jagged's Emporium. Recent Co Butcher, that's where I go. I highly recommend the food that I've tried from there. APSM, where Scott's Forest used to be, and many other places over the years have been. Westpac, Bear Town. Classic Miles and Spire. If you're wondering where this is, this is where Kennedy's news agency used to be in APC computers. And that, there's Target Health Medical Centre here. Look back where we just came from. Oh. Give someone a warning before he comes along. A bit more respect for other people. It zooms past. Yeah, he drives to somewhere and then zooms past. I've seen him do it before. Um, this is yeah, Target Health. And that where Sol Pattinson's moving into. And this side. You see, they've started that already. Well, finally. That's where K10 Shoes used to be. Now it's right at home. Originally right at home, only had one side of it, and then they took over both sides. In-home care and assistance. Sol Pattinson. Yeah, I've never really got to show it in there properly. I'd like to walk in there and show it, but... I remember there was a clothing store in there. When they first 
took all the White Horse Hotel stuff out of here. There was a clothing store for a little while. It wasn't, it wasn't much chop, but there was a little clothing store. I don't remember what they called it, but it was there in this spot. Well, this is, it looks like they got the generator when there's power outages, they make sure they're, they're open. So they get all the business, which is fair enough. I don't like the way they put signs around town though, on ATMs and in the way of places and all that. And yeah, you'll see in one of my videos, the chappie was putting a sign on the actual other chemist, which I thought that's a bit rude. It's very rude to do that. It's APM Employment Services. This is um, Owen Street again, this is Suncorp, no rivers where Dick Smith was for a fair while there. J car. The J car was down there, yeah, the leading edge. The leading edge moved to where I showed before and now it's gone. Sadly. Terry White, come up. Where um, oh, Angie Sewing Centre used to be. Yeah, I first saw this as Angie Sewing. Angie's Sewing Centre. Sewing Centre, Kalana Pharmacy. So Terry White and Cam Martin seems to be part of Kalana Pharmacy by the um, signage and all that's still there from it. Hopefully this video is turning out nice and clear. And for the second video I might um, just change to another, to the other camera. EB Games and then the ice cream place. Ada Realty and all that. Mm. Doing a slight 360 as slow as we can so we can see it all. So it look a bit run down that part. <coughs> this was all sepoys back in the day. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Dom's Hunt Foods was here. I remember Dom's Hunt Foods being here. Double carrots plus. Yeah, that's, the, that's their point system, is the carrots. If you're wondering, EB Games. Yeah, they do carrots instead of points. Alrighty then, well, we might leave it at that for this video, and then have a rest here for a sec, and then get out and do some more. Thanks for watching. It's the best time to keep memories alive for us for future generations this year. Check out old new NSL photos on Facebook. Check out the links in the description. Yeah, there's a PayPal link. There's also a super thanks button provided by YouTube, which is usually a love heart with a dollar sign. Different setups. It's a different placing of it, like on a phone, on a TV, on a whatever. Computer, it's different. So check all that out. There's also a wish list, an Amazon wish list, if you're into that. You want to donate an actual product to the channel to help out make the channel a lot better, better picture quality, make it a lot better. Help with doing it, that would be much appreciated. Yeah, there's old new NSL photos on Facebook. Anyway, stay safe, stay cool, stay dry, and we'll catch you in the next one.